I can't believe people still use this shit. A UX UI designer uses many tools to complete the many stages of the UX UI workflow, from wireframes to prototyping, designing, and handoff. As you might already know, I am a huge fan of Sketch and Figma. I have used Adobe XD in the past for about three years, and I was really happy when new tools came out because there was a constant need for better ones. Before Adobe XD, I used Photoshop and Illustrator, and now that I look back, these were even harder to use and pick up on when you start learning the craft. I also used Sketch, but XD and Co were more popular with my ex-employers. Now let's get into the nitty gritty. For the newbies out there, the baby designers, Adobe is available on both Windows and OS at the moment, similar to Figma. However, this is a dedicated app you install on your PC instead of a web app that you can access online. First things first, the export button or function that you cannot find. Zero UX was applied to this feature. Why is this obviously needed function hidden? I have to go to file, export or right click on the artboard in the artboard list and pick export selected. Also, Adobe XD does not allow you to export graphics in custom sizes. Did you want to export a screen of your app in free X resolution? You can. No, please choose what you're exporting for. Design, web, iOS, Android, that's it. The web option only allows you to export in 1x and 2x only, while the design option does not even let you choose 2x. Oh my god! As for the rulers, you always have to go to the left or to the top edge to pull out a ruler. If you're working at the bottom of a long page and you need a horizontal ruler, scroll the hell up, pull the ruler down, at the bottom and then you have a ruler. In Sketch and Figma you can get a guide no matter where you are on your artboard. Another thing that I absolutely hate is that you cannot do color filling in Adobe XD. To make the same effect you need three layers in Adobe XD, while in Figma you may have as many fills, strokes, and shadows for one layer as you want. One of my favorites, no autosave. Yes, people, this is still happening in 2021. I'm so disappointed as you are in our humanity. Utterly disappointed. I will not even continue on this issue because it already brings out the gravitas of this situation. Moving on to masking. Has anyone figured out how to do that yet in Adobe XD? I haven't learned how to do that yet. I also moved on to better things in life before learning. But yes, this has been an issue for me. The next one is that there is no scale function in XD. Like for example, if you want to increase an object by 20 100% or something. You can do it in Figma, you can do it in Sketch, but you cannot do it here. Imagine how much time you might save. Just saying, just saying. And to end this nightmare, we have the lesser functionality of editing vector shapes. Adobe XD can perform any task harder than moving points on your shape. Sketch offers you to choose points types, like straight, mirrored, disconnected, asymmetric. And also there is a tool called scissors that allows you to cut a path between two points that is very, very, very useful. After doing a bit of research, there are approximately 2 million Sketch users, 1.2 million Figma users, and about 800,000 Adobe XD users. So you kind of understand that the trend is going towards Sketch and Figma, and Adobe is slightly left behind. To be honest, I'm actually surprised that Figma is not the top user, given the fact that it can be used on both Windows and iOS, unlike Sketch, which can only be used on Mac OS. Probably the statistic needs a bit of updating, as I've read about it in the 2019 article. I have to be honest, it's quite hard to find statistics about designers and what they use. It's weird weird, but probably because it only started just now to become more popular as a job and people do not have sufficient data on it. I do have to tell you though that there is a hold up on those remaining 800,000 users. Like for example, the other side of the package that Adobe XD offers. You know how if you pay about $60 a month, you also get access to all the other Adobe products, which some of them are quite useful. So I think this is how Adobe does its marketing. They are going to make two or three products that are good and that people actually need and use. And some shitty ones on the side that people also need, but cannot move away from the package. 
because it means that they will need to pay more money. And maybe some users will do so, but the problem is the companies. They already bought a design software for the design team, so why do they need another one? They also get a free Adobe Reader that reads their PDFs with the package, which Sketch and Figma doesn't provide. This is all for today, a few negatives here and there and some general statistic knowledge at the end. My conclusion is that it's time to move on. If your company still uses Adobe XD, maybe persuade them and show them how much time and money you can save them if they would introduce Figma or Sketch to the team. Maybe if you're some manager trying to impress your boss and also help your fellow designers and coders. As always, click that tiny like button and smash that subscribe button and I will see you next time. Take care.